Hi, we're continuing with the form we started with in the last video, which essentially has two uh, text fields and a spin button box or a up down box. And the essential problem is to compare a date we type in to the current date. And as usual, everything gets initiated by the button. So let's double click on the button to go to the button event handler. And the first problem we have to solve is how do we get a known date into a date time variable? And there's actually several ways you can do that. One way is we can just create a, instantiate a date time object and pass the, the, the date we want, date and time we want to the constructor. And this is basically in uh, largest to smallest order. I think what they used to call little Indian, you know, and that it ends in the littlest number. So this is uh, 2011 is a year, 3 is the month, 12 is the day, 13 is the hour, and we have to use a 24-hour clock because there's really no AM, PM in, in this format, I don't think. And then 14 is the minute, and 26 is the second. So if we uh, save and uh, run this and then press the uh, create date time you see we get Sunday, Saturday, March 12th uh, 2011 and then 1 which is 13 in the 24 hour clock 14 minute and 26 seconds. Another way we can do this that's a little more human readable is we can use the date time parse method and pass it a string. The first part of the string is the year or the, the date which is the month, the day, and the year are separated by slashes much the way you do it when you normally write a date at least in America. And then we can write the, the time of uh, 1 colon 14 colon 26. So we have the hour, minute, and second separated by colons. And then we can specify an AM or a PM. And if we display this with the, uh, the F format, which is the long format that spells out the day and so on, and run that, press create date time, you see we get essentially the same answer. I think I might have specified a different date, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. But once we get to this point where we're doing a date parse, it's just a small step to uh, get the input from the text boxes and the up-down. We add uh, several string variables, str, am, pm, which does the uh, numeric up-down uh, combo box and um, does a selected item and then uh, to string to convert it to a string since it's initially an object. And then we get the uh, date and the time directly from the date and time uh, text box. And then we have another string called relation which we're going to use to describe whether the date we input is less than the current date or greater than the current date. We'd have to be really good to get it exactly equal to the current date, but I have that in here just in case. And basically the first thing we do is check that a date and time were entered. They're not uh, empty values. If they are empty values, I just return from the event handler and don't do anything. And if they aren't empty values, I concatenate them together with a space in between, the way we saw previously in the uh, date parts. And then we use the date parse to convert this input into a date time variable. And we display the, the date we input using the F format that we saw previously. And one interesting thing you could do with this is put in the, the day of your birthday and find out what day you were born on. You know, whether you're full of grace or full of woe or whatever you're full of. And then the second thing we do is we get the date time for dot now, 
which is the current date time uh, up to the second and then I display that date time in an F format also in the, the label below so we can see what the two are and then the real uh, meat of the, the tutorial is we do a date time dot compare and we put the input as the first variable and the current date as the second variable these both have to be date time format and basically this return value is either going to be less than zero if the first date is less than the second date it's going to be equal to zero if the first date is exactly the same as the second date which as I say would be pretty tough to do and it's going to be greater than zero if the first date is later than the second date and then I set the relationship variable according to the this criteria so if it's less than zero I say is earlier than and if it's equal to zero I say is the same as and if it's later than I say is later than and then for the status label I simply use a string format to uh, print out these three prongs the input date the relationship and the current date and I just have uh, angle bracket zero to get the first variable in the list angle bracket or brace one brace to get the second variable in the list and brace two brace to get the third variable in the list so let's compile and uh, or save and compile and run this code and say we type in a date of uh, 9 11 2001 and 8 colon 9 colon 10 so that would be 8 o'clock 9 minutes after 8 o'clock and 10 seconds and say AM and then if we do the uh, create date time see that was a Tuesday hmm interesting and today's a Friday and it's November 23rd and so on and needless to say 2001 is earlier than than uh, 2012 so if instead of this we say uh, 20 I don't know 45 that's a good date and then create that we'll see that 2045 is later than 2012 so the date time dot compare does indeed work well I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe